What's up guys, I'm back with another video and in today's video we're going to be discussing why you're a musician. Let's go. So the purpose of this video guys is to really help strengthen your connection to music and your connection to your purpose within music to help you kind of get back to your roots and understand why you started in the first place and why you haven't quit yet. So there's only three real big questions here and we'll kind of dive into them a little deeper. Number one is why did you start music? Number two is going to be why haven't you stopped music? And number three is going to be what about making music makes you feel good? So let's chat about the first point, why you started music. I want you guys to kind of think back to that point in time where you said, okay, I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna dedicate myself to this. And this is something I'm going to strive for every day, day in, day out every week, every month, and I'm not going to stop until I get what I want from it. So to help you guys kind of get in that zone a little bit more, I'll tell you a little bit about my story. Um, so when I started making music, it was when I was 15. I was 15 and that's when I said, okay, this is what I want to do. I found my purpose. This is what I'm going to dedicate my life to. I'm 21 now, so that was like six years ago. It's crazy to think about that like six years ago. Wow. Um, but yeah, I was 15. And I remember my friend and I were dedicating ourselves to this dream, this journey together, um, my best friend at the time. And we said, okay, we're gonna go to a music store and we're gonna buy some basic equipment. At the time, we were only really interested in doing vocals. Um, I was like a rapper at the time. Um, and so we went out and we bought like a very basic, I think it was the Focusrite bundle. I think that was the one I got. Um, and a mic stand and I got Ableton and then we started from there. And obviously at the beginning, I had no idea what I was doing. He had no idea what we were doing. We just set it up in my bedroom um, and started making songs, started recording vocals that sounded absolute garbage. Um, <laughs> but you know, at the time we were learning, we didn't know anything. Um, and I know in the beginning, I just remember having so many moments where I was so down in the beginning because I didn't know how to do anything and it got very frustrating and I remember one moment there was a moment where I bought autotune but I bought it for I had a PC at the time I want Mac now but uh, I bought it for Mac and I had a PC and I didn't realize that and then I was so sad because I spent like my last money it was like a couple hundred dollars and I was in South Africa at the time so it was like a lot of money for me I spent like my last money on that and I was like so devastated that, that like I thought I wasn't gonna be able to use this now and I just wasted all the money and I just broke down crying <laughs> like about Origin. And I think it was because it was just all the emotions built up from the last couple months of like starting this and you know it's this huge task and you have these huge dreams and you're really starting from the ground up. Um, and there was many you know so many small failures in the beginning. Um, and I think that kind of all just led up to that moment where I just broke down over the autotune. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like a little funny story. So the second big question is why you haven't stopped music yet? What's gotten you through all the bad days, all the disappointments and all the failures, right? There must be a reason for this. When I think back to my story and why I didn't stop was because I found it a really good release and a much more fulfilling use of my time than going to parties. Cause I used to go to a lot of parties when I was like 15, 16. You know, that's kind of what we all just did on the weekends. I was at like an old boys school. And so it was like, you know, work, work, work and sports in the week. And then like, we got to the weekend, we all just wanted to like do something fun, you know? Cause we'd been working the whole week. Um, and so, you know, it would get to the weekend and everyone would just want to go out to parties and, or, you know, have get togethers with everyone. Um, and I did that for a bit and it was it was cool, but I, there was a point where I definitely started just going to too many parties, like drinking a lot and it wasn't fulfilling at all. And so when I started making music, I, you know, on Friday, Saturday nights, I would, instead of going to parties, I would sit at home in my room and work on music or try and figure something out to do with the software or something like that. Um, and it gave me, in the beginning, it gave me much more of a sense of like, fulfillment and like yes like you're actually doing something that makes you feel good because partying i don't know it didn't even make me feel good like in the moment really like it was okay it was like you know you get spikes of dopamine from the drinking or the social interaction but there's really no longevity there and it's not something you can look back on and be like wow i did i you know that was a great night of drinking and talking to that girl like no one says you know it's like maybe people do like that maybe 
I don't know, but for me, it just wasn't doing it. And so I think that's why I really stuck with it in the first couple of years. Um, and then another big reason for why I stuck with it was because I made a big decision. I think this was very critical in my journey. I made the decision to move when I was 18 from Cape Town, South Africa to Vancouver, Canada. And I made that move in order to study music production. And I think if I hadn't made that move, I don't know. I think I would still be doing music, but I can't say for sure. Like I can't say for certain that I'd still be doing it. Um, I think the fact that I dedicated myself so much that I was willing to, you know, move across the world to pursue this. Um, it's kind of like I proved to myself that I really wanted it, right? I made a huge decision and I went with it and that kind of solidified my purpose in music and, and made me feel like this is really the right path. So I think if you guys are feeling stuck in music or you're not feeling fulfilled or you're thinking about giving up, I'd really say, you know, try something big, like make a big decision in order to, like you don't have to move across the world like I did, but do something big that's going to prove to yourself that you're committed to being a musician. The final question is, what about making music makes you feel good? Think about a moment where you got those butterflies in your stomach, you felt really fulfilled, and you felt like you were doing something right in music. Because these are really the moments that keep you going. Um, for me, it's when I finish a song or I finish a client mix that I'm really proud of and I'm like, wow, this is going to go on Spotify and a lot of people are going to listen to this and the fact that if it's my song, the fact that these are my emotions coming out um, for the world to see and I know people are going to enjoy it, that really makes me feel good. And if it's like a client mix or a client beat or production that I worked on, same thing, you know, it's going to go out into the world. Um, the artist did their thing on it. They laid down their emotions on the track and just to be a part of that feels really great. Um, especially when I'm working with like a lot of different clients from all over the world, like you pick up, you know, it's like, okay, I've worked for someone in Italy, so all their friends are gonna listen to it or their little fan base in Rome, Italy or whatever is gonna listen to it. Um, and the fact that you can have this impact on people literally all over the world from producing and mixing for people or doing your own music um, is really fulfilling. And I think, I don't think we talk about that link enough because music is for you but it's also so joining and it's so, because there's so much emotion in a lot of music and especially the music I work on, it's so, it's so relatable and it's so like, it really brings people together. And I think even for myself, that's something I haven't thought about in depth enough in the past. And I've always thought about like, okay, what can I get out of it? But humans are social creatures and the more we, provide for others and relate to others and can connect with others, the better we actually feel in turn. Um, so I think that's an important point to remember as well. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. It's kind of a little story time video, a little bit, you know, a little something just to get you thinking um, about your purpose in music. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Um, and as always, there'll be a PNG download. The PNG download for this video is going to be the key questions you need to answer to fulfill and solidify your purpose in music. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in another video.